Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we're going to be making this pocket card. It doesn't open or anything, you just, there's a little spot for you to write your message right here. Then there's a little pocket right here that you can just slide it right in. All right, so let's get started. We are going to be using the stamp set Botanical Blooms with the matching framelits botanical border and then for the sentiment I'm going to be using the birthday blooms and we're going to be using a variety of cardstock to make the flowers and then the for the background cardstock that is botanical gardens and that's in the occasions catalog and this is as far as I know this is still available and you can still get the this in a bundle and save 15% in the new catalog. They will have these, but they'll be separate, so you'll have to buy them separate. So if you want them now, you have until May 31st to get them. Okay, so we're gonna take a piece of Cajun Craze, and this measures four and a fourth by 11, and we are going to bring in our trimmer, and we're going to score that at five and a half and I do have some news when I did my retired post I had said that you can no longer get this piece that comes in the trimmer which is correct you cannot get this any longer but from what I have been told the only time that this, that this needs to be replaced is if you were using the rotary attachment that is on this trimmer. You would take this out and rotate it so that it was flat and then attach the rotary trimmer and then that sometimes I guess this, I have it but I haven't used it a lot. This would wear out. That's why you would need to get a new mat. This is called a trimmer mat. We don't have that any longer, so there was no reason for them to keep selling this piece. Now, if you happen to lose it, or if it breaks through no fault of your own, Stampin' Up! from what I was told will replace it. So this can be replaced if you call Stampin' Up! at 1-800-STAMP-UP and it can be replaced or contact your demonstrator. That would probably be the easiest to do. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would be happy and appreciative of your business. Now, so that you don't use it, like I said last time, there's a little lock up here, right here. You just lock that and it won't fall out. I keep it locked so my five-year-old doesn't cut himself. <laughs> okay, so back to the card. Sorry about the lane swerve there. All right, so we have scored it at five and a half. Now we are going to take it and we are going to put a little tick mark, put your paper at two inches, take your scoring blade again, and right up here at the top, just put a little tick mark right here with the scoring blade, right here. Then you're gonna take that, did I even get it? Just barely. Then you're gonna take that little tick mark, I think I'm gonna do that again because I can barely see it. There we go, it's right there. Then you take that little tick mark and you're going to put that at two inches or no, no you're not, back up, I'm sorry. So this is at two inches right here. You're gonna take this edge right here and you're going to put it at four inches, okay? So this tick mark right here would be at one and a half. The edge of the paper would be at four. You're going to take your scoring blade again and you're gonna make another little tick mark down here, right here. Now, the other tip that I learned from stamping up was these 
do not, the um, scoring blades do not wear out. So there was really no reason why um, this should be replaced. Not quite sure why they were selling them then, but I don't know, maybe if you lost it or something. So these are still available, um, I believe. So if you want these, this is another thing in case it gets lost, you may want to replace. Okay, so you're going to take the first tick mark right here, the top tick mark, and you're going to put it in the, the groove right here. You're going to take this one that you made at four and you're gonna put it right here so that you're at a diagonal. You're going to take your trimming blade and you're gonna slice that off, just like that. Then you can fold that in half and that's going to make your pocket. Just like that. All right, so from the designer series paper, you're going to need a piece that is four by five and a fourth. I'm gonna take my fast fuse. And you're just going to attach that to the back part of your card. Now, I shouldn't have done that yet because if you want to, this is totally optional. I'm gonna get out my silicone mat so that um, the back doesn't stick to my paper. If you want to, these leaves in here coordinate with the leaves that are in the botanical blooms with these veins. So you could take your veins, if you wanted to, and your ink, and you could stamp your designer series paper. Give it a little extra oomph, like right here. Now I know that there's a flower right there, so I'm just gonna take a small piece. This is Post-it labeling cover-up tape, and I'm just gonna cover I'm just gonna cover that up. I'm not gonna make a true mask. I'm just gonna kinda cover that up right there. Oops, down here, sorry. Let's see. Then you can take your veins this piece down here too and you can stamp, stamp, uh, stamp the veins on the paper so that it looks like it was on the paper just like that um, they have one for every size pretty much that's just a little extra something that you can do if you want to pieces of paper off you really can't see it a lot unless you take the um, card out see I did it right here I did it right here on this one and on these two but once you put this in you really can't see it anyway except for these ones up here totally up to you okay so Put this on here like this, okay. I'm going to take some tear and tape and I'm going to put that on the edge down here. This is some sticky stuff. Okay, and then another little piece down here, just like that. Peel that off and fold that up. 
And there is your pocket. All right. Now, for the inside piece right here, the Mossy Meadow measures three and a fourth by four and a half. The Whisper White measures three by four and a fourth. And I'm just going to put these together without adhering them right at the moment. I'm gonna put this in my pocket and I'm gonna do my stamping before I attach it in case I mess it up. I can either use the backside or get it, I don't have to cut another piece of the Mossy Meadow. So I'm taking the Mossy Meadow ink, which is retiring at the end of the month. Makes me very sad, it's one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to put that, um, I really can't see this without sticking my head in there, so hopefully, eh, not too bad. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of Whisper White and I'm gonna cut off an, a one inch strip. Now I cut off this, I used, it was one inch by 11 inches. So I used half of it on this card and I'm gonna use the other half on this card. So it was one by 11. And then I took a piece of the designer series paper and that is three fourths by 12. That's why it's overhanging a little bit. And I adhered those together. Sorry about my phone. Let's see if I can get that to turn off here. There, okay. So I'm just gonna take this piece, this is my leftover piece from that one, and I'm gonna adhere it right on there. So I'm gonna take some of my fast fuse and put that on the back. And let's see, try and get this straight here. And just place that right on here. Then I can take my scissors and I will just cut that off flush with the card, just like that. All right, so that looks just like that. Now I can take and I can adhere this to my mossy meadow piece. Trying to leave an even border on all four sides. Okay, and then that can just go right in here. Okay. All right, now for my flowers. Um, we're gonna use, like I said, the botanical border framelits. And I'm gonna get out my big shot. magnetic platform, a cutting pad. I'm going to take my leftover piece of Cajun Craze and I'm going to cut out this one and this one. Put my cutting other cutting mat on there. Sorry about the wiggling. And I'm gonna go over this twice. I wouldn't need to with this one, but since this one is the one that kind of pops up, I am going to go over that twice. All right. And with the same die and Hello Honey, I already cut out this one. Um, the other one that I need to cut out in basic black is this one right here. 
So I had a piece of basic black around here somewhere. I have more scraps, of course. So I will put that one on here. I need two of those. I already have one cut out. This is another one I'm going to go through twice. Okay, and then the last one that I'm going to, I'm going to use my basic black again. And I'm going to use this little tiny one right here. If I can get it off, there we go. I could have done those together. one right here in the mint macaron gets stuck in all the little grooves of everything so and then the last one I'm going to use is I'm going to use the mossy meadow and cut out some leaves so let me get out my mossy meadow here where did I put it Both of these. I'm going to have to run these through a couple of times because I need two of the slender ones and three of the bigger ones. I'm trying to use up my scraps here. Need another one of those. And these ones are um, a lot of the time, a lot of lots of the time, we want to stamp first and then cut out with the framelit. These ones really don't make that much difference, I find. here. All right, I think we are done with the big shot. All right, so my leaves going to also stamp those in mossy meadow to make the veins Okay. 
and then these ones. And somebody had asked me, do you really need the stamp set if you're just if you really just want the framelits? And of course you don't, but I like having all the detail on the leaves. So it's totally up to you. All right. Now to get all of the delicate pieces out of these. Uh, I'm going to get my brush, my detail brush. And I have it in a case, so all the little pieces, really these don't have any pieces, but see it comes just comes right out. kind of sticks the there's holes in there in the die and these bristles are stiff um, and this one needs a little more help There we go. That one just pops right out. Get these out of the way so I don't lose them. All right, so we are going to take, I just like to have this kind of set in there so that uh, I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to take the Cajun Craze one and one of these little pieces here. No, I probably, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Um, I'm going to take a glue dot, put that on the back side, and put that right in the middle. Then I'm going to take some of our basic jewels. I'm going to take the biggest ones. And that goes there. This one right here, I'm going to take my um, paper piercer and I'm just going to kind of curl the leaves so that they're, all the other ones have a, you know, some lift to them. So I'm just going to do these back and kind of bend them up. And then I'm going to take this one right here with another glue dot. This one I'm going to kind of fold up because it's a little it's a little big for the middle of that and that can go in the middle here. All right. Um, and then we're doing to do the same thing with this one. Another glue dot. Put that in the middle here. There we go. And this one, let's see. So I need a big glue dot on here or a big rhinestone on here. And then I will take two of the medium sized, put one on here and one on here. All right, so I take this one and put it right about there, and this one goes here. And the flower goes here. I want to make sure that I like that. That looks okay. So I'm going to take some of my Tombow and 
put that little dot right there and a little dot right there and that dries pretty quick then I'm going to take my flower here with a dimensional <clears throat> put that on the back And then that just goes right here. Okay. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing with these ones down here. I'm going to lay them out to kind of get my placement. Make sure I like what they look like first. Okay. All right. So I will put a little glue here. Here. All right. And this one, I'm just going to use some glue on the back. This one's going to get a going to get a dimensional. Go right here. And then this one, the last one, will just get part of a dimensional. Sorry, had a tickle in my throat and I didn't want to cough in your ear. All right. And then this one will go right here. Just like that. And that is it. So if you want to get this uh, bundle together to save 15%, make sure that you order before May 31st. Um, all supplies can be purchased through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.